Welcome back to the Crafty Duck, my Crafty Duckers. Today I'll be doing a beer review and I'm doing, wait for it, Putty 2022. Whew, sound effects and all sorts. So yep, yeah, this is this year's Putty release. I'm a couple of weeks late on it and I still haven't tried it. Uh, I've had a chest infection and I've not drunk in 12 days. So we're better to start with a dipper uh from verdant i've learned it's verdant not verdant i think they corrected someone online uh, so this is their once yearly release putty uh, i think it's rated 4.3 out of 5 on untapped which is extremely high it's a eight percent double ipa or dipper and it's got a zaka galaxy and mosaic um yeah and people go mad for it and people run out of it and yep yeah, I've got some just over there quite a few of them actually uh, but I'm keeping them for one for customers or locals one each there's only a few left so I thought I'd keep one for myself and I'd better do a review uh, last year's was good uh, 2021's was good 2020's I believe had a weird freshness almost onion taste to it um, so I, I'm intrigued to see what this one's like. I've seen a few people try it on, on the YouTube uh, and see what they think. But I'm going to get this bad boy open. Oh, it does say something on it. Putty with Alex Mayhews. I don't know what Alex Mayhews is. Uh, when was this canned? This was canned on the 17th of January. So where are we today? no idea uh i'm not like tenth today so this is see my brain's gone dead three and a bit weeks old so drink fresh because hops fade i don't think we're gonna get any fresher than that oh look at that color oh look at that that's a good color look at the head's a bit big but it's thick Well, this is interesting already. I mean, look at that. Can you pick that up in the light? I think we're in the realms of dank. And it's not, it's really poor, it's not thick. Yeah, it did pull thick, but not like Imperial Stout thick. That was beautiful. I think my nose is shot because I can't smell anything. But, mm. Right, I'm gonna go in. I think my nose is shot. My taste buds certainly aren't. Wow, just wow. That is an extremely well put together beer. Is it 4.3 out of five? I don't know. It's a good beer. I don't give don't doubt that for a minute, but it's hyped massively because it's once a year. I don't know. That is fantastic, though. I'm trying to think what I would score on Untapped. I'm quite a mean scorer on Untapped. If you don't know what Untapped is, it's a, it's an app where you can check in your beers that you've had. So obviously you can you, you can remember. Uh, you can find places uh, around the world that. Uh, venues that are close to you for example so if you're in Hartford or close to this area and you were you had a little look we pop up so you can rate, rate your beers uh, out of five um, I'm quite mean I think my highest rated beer was 4.25 and that was live I can't remember it was either Yellow Belly uh, from Omnipolo Buxton or it was Cherry Skies from Vault City now this isn't quite up there with that this is a 3754 for me which is a massive score for me huge that yeah I can't smell I don't know what I'm sniffing for but, but taste wise it's wow it's just oh, it's so silky 
what's the word? It's got this thick consistency, but it's so soft. And then whack. I can see why people get hyped about it. But if they made this all the time, all year round, would people be so excited about it? I don't know, maybe. I mean, they probably are one of the best breweries in this country at the minute, in my opinion. I know there's emperors, but you can't get emperors. And there are new boys coming in, new ones that we've liked. But Verdant and Claywater are consistently hitting out the water. We've got a Verdant Sap takeover uh, week, last weekend of February. Uh, so we hope to have 10 taps at least of their stuff. So yeah, that's all good. So this has been Putty. I've been James. This has been the Crafty Duck. And we'll see you next time.